Yo, what's up, bro? I'm in Romania right now, and I'm gonna be here for a couple of weeks, and I'm reshooting my program. And I just came up with this crazy idea. I have a module in my program, which is all about mindset, yeah? And I wanted to make a video there about what would you have to do to get a job as a developer in 30 days. This is like an insane, you know, result. Probably nobody could achieve this. But let's just imagine this. Like, what would you actually have to do? So let's say in 30 days, if you don't work as a developer, okay, if you don't have a developer job, someone will shoot you and your entire family. You will pretty much die if you don't have a developer job. So the stake is huge, right? The stake is huge. So what would you have to do? And the reason why I'm putting it like this is because the, um, the goal is to get a developer job, right? But the motivation is different, right? So imagine Usain Bolt, that's the guy. So imagine Usain Bolt and you tell him, hey bro, if you do not beat your record or here is 100 meters that you need to run. If you beat your record, you will gain 1 million bucks, right? $1 million in cash, you get to keep them, you do whatever you want with that cash. He's running, 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 and for some reason, he cannot beat his record, okay? He cannot beat it, and he almost, he lost by one millisecond. Like, it's almost unnoticeable, but he lost by one millisecond. Now, if we switch this around and we say, hey, bro, you saying, if you don't beat your record, then this lion that's behind you is gonna pretty much rip your head off. Now, the goal is the same, to beat his record, but the motivations are, are different. We all know that if we have a lion behind us, we'll be more motivated to actually achieve our goal, right? And with this exercise that I want you to do, and I'm gonna actually do it with you live right now, not live, but recorded. With this exercise, I just want you to imagine what would you actually have to do to get a developer job in just 30 days, otherwise you and your family are being taken off from this beautiful planet. What would I do if I would be in that position? Well, the first thing that I would do is to figure out what is a job, right? What is a job? Like, do I need to get a six figures job or can I just work for free, right? If I just have to work for free, then the barrier of entry is smaller. Maybe I could even pay someone to work for them. Imagine that you pay someone to work for them, but it's still a job, right? Because you are still giving away your time and your skills to someone else. Maybe you're not gonna be the most productive developer out there, all right, but you'll be surrounded by other developers, you'll learn from them, and then at some point you'll become so skilled that they will actually start paying you, okay? And then you can probably move to another company, etc., etc. But the point is, we need to figure out what is the barrier of entry to, get, to getting a developer job. So just someone giving us work, okay? And that work we could actually, you know, do. So what I would do is I would also limit the types of skills that I want to learn. So instead of spending, you know, a month on HTML and CSS and becoming really good at HTML and CSS, I would really limit myself at knowing three HTML tags, a div, a button, and an input. If you just think about it, if you are a bit more advanced with this programming stuff or front-end development stuff, you know that you could pretty much do anything with just those three tags. Maybe an A tag as well, okay? But we can figure out other ways of going around that tag, okay? But mostly you just need a div, an input tag, and a button, okay? I don't care about accessibility. I wanna be alive after those 30 days. CSS, I wouldn't care about CSS at all. I would only learn about class names, and I will learn about changing the colors of my text and probably the background of my text. That's it, plain and simple. And it's gonna look like most people's portfolios anyway, okay? I had to drop that in. 
So I will spend one or two days trying to understand those, you know, tags, how they work and what can I do with them. And I will try to replicate as many websites or web apps as I could just with those three tags. And the beauty of programming and the beauty of creativity is not only to have and to know as many tools as possible, but being productive with very little tools. Okay. And this is kind of the paradigm of the junior developer where you need to know everything kind of to get a job, but if you just know the basics, you'll be good enough, but it, it's, it's tricky, right? Anyway, so I'll spend time one or two days learning that, being really good at that, okay? The next day, day three to four, I will just spend understanding programming. What is programming? Why it was invented? How it works? Show me, I want to see as many examples as I can about programming, and I want to see and collect as many templates and patterns I could see about programming. So what is a loop? Where can I see a loop in action? Show me examples. Where, what is a function? Show me examples of a function. Show me uh, how an event listener works. Give me examples. I want to see examples of everything. I just want to have a very high level picture of what programming is and what front-end development is. Okay, this is what I would do day three to four. Okay. Then day five to six to seven, I will just practice the syntax. Okay. I just want to be fluent. So whenever someone says, write a function for me, I would just be able to like literally write it. Okay. I don't have to think about it. I don't need to know, oh, function keyword here, the name of the function, round brackets. I don't want to think about that. I just want to make it like automatic. Again, I'm going to die in 30 days. So if I don't learn this stuff right now, I'll be gone. Okay, that's my mindset. I need to learn this. Next, what I would do is I would start applying for jobs right now and I wouldn't spend my time applying to jobs because my time is valuable. I have to learn programming, otherwise I'll die. So I would hire five, six people from the Philippines, pay them three bucks an hour and have them apply on my behalf on all the job sites, LinkedIn, Indeed, whatever it's out there have them apply one person per each website. They will send my resume out. They'll use chat GPT to create cover letters, whatever. I just want a huge volume of applications with my resume. I would literally just get a resume template. I have, for example, in my program, a resume template, find one online, use that and start applying. I want to aim for 1000 to 2000 job applications per day. Insane number, right? But I'm going to die in 30 days. So I have to do that. Then I would probably create an ad on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on YouTube towards, you know, making a hiring manager, a recruiter, um, some other software developer look at me <laughs> to give me an interview. Okay. That's what I would do. Then I would start recreating all those examples that I've learned about in my in day three and four, I would try to learn how to do them with JavaScript. And I would really ask myself, why do I need this? I would be like questioning every single concept that I'm learning. Question, 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 question. Like a maniac trying to be like a detective that is looking at patterns and trying to understand them to use them. And I would do that until week two. Okay. After week two, I would spend my time in between learning React and redoing the same thing that I've done with JavaScript with React. And then I would start having interviews and I would try to be as persuasive as possible. Here is where I would learn about persuasion and sales. So I would learn this book called uh, Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. I would read How to Win Friends and Influence People. I would just, I would just get the basic gist of all those books to be able to Show these guys, hey, if you don't hire me, even if you have to pay me nothing, just put me on the contract there and I will actually pay you to learn more from you in the next couple of weeks. I would highly appreciate that from you. My family will be also appreciative of you <laughs> having me have this job, okay? And I would keep honing my skills. I would keep learning JavaScript, keep learning React. I would, I would, I would try to become that person that shows a lot of potential, a lot of 
excitement for this work, you know? You have to be excited for your life in this scenario. But yeah, that's kind of what I would do, you know? I would just go nuts with everything and I would focus more on understanding the basics of programming, how everything works. I would focus on outreach and putting my face in front of as many people as possible. And then I would focus on understanding people and having them give me a chance to learn from them. That's what I would do in 30 days. Obviously, you'll not be able to work for Google in 30 days, okay? I don't want to see any comments saying, oh, you promise you're going to get me a dev job in 30 days. I cannot do that. My fastest student was hired in two months. He had a little bit of knowledge, but that was, you know, an exception. And that probably was a world record as well. But this is just an exercise with imagination because a bunch of people have these limiting beliefs. I cannot do it because I'm old. I cannot do it because I'm working too much at my job. I cannot do it because X reason. But you know you can actually do it. Like You can actually change your life in six months. I just showed you how to do it in one month. Imagine how six months of consistent work put in the right direction and towards the right thing. Imagine what would that do to you, right? Imagine like that potential that you could be living, but you are not because you don't have that urgency that that line is behind you and that line is truly behind you, okay? That line is called time and it's gonna kill you at some point. So you might as well make the most of, out of the time that you have available right now so you can live a better life later. So make some sacrifices now, do the work now, and then later you'll be able to collect, you know, all these checks that you've put in, okay? All these sacrifices that you've been making. It's simple, but not easy, okay? Anyway, I'll see you soon, bye-bye.